Hi! Last week I bought this uh, Spekner Arms SAFX02 because well I thought it looked amazing and I wanted to give it a go because I've used it in games. So let's talk about my first impression of this replica. Let's get right into it. Straight from the box this is what you get plus an M90 spring. A quality control from the shop where they just test with 0.2 BBs and th what seems like quite common nowadays an adapter from Deans to Tamiya for those new players who might not have Deans batteries yet a cleaning rod and unjamming rod which uh, is quite long for this replica and one high capacity magazine that just feels extremely cheap the hatch to add the BBs is uh, extremely small. I've not used this kind of magazines before, but I feel that hole is extremely small for pouring in a lot of BBs. I'm sorry, children. And it just feels like cheap plastic. With the angle it has, it can't really stand on its own, which is not really a deal breaker, but something to keep in mind. It also doesn't really fit 100% properly in the replica itself. It wobbles back and forth and left and right. Which is not that good, but it doesn't really do anything for the replica itself. The muscle brake is metal, which surprised me. And it comes with three picatinny mounts for the M-lock. I just moved the bottom one back a bit for my front grip. And it also has three quick sling attachments, well, holes. That seems to be of some sort of metal. And this charging handle is also metal. The rest of the build is actually the Specna Arms polymer, which doesn't really feel as nice as the GNG's polymer. The stock has a nice rubber to it, and the Specna Arms engravings. Remove the stock and you can access the uh, battery. It has a quick spring change system, but it's the old one where you have to put in a screwdriver in the buffer tube and unscrew a screw and then you can change the spring. It comes with a normal rotary hop-up that I will talk a bit about because I had some problems with this. From the box it could not hop 0.32 BBs and it even struggled with 28s. I changed the spring, I added a new knob and rubber and it still could not hop 32s without going from 1.2 joule with the 120 spring to about 0.6 joules. For this replica I bought an additional 4 mid cap magazines because I don't really use high caps anymore and they feel just like the high cap. They feel like cheap plastic. They're extremely light, at least they don't wobble, they feed decently and they can stand on their own, which the original could not. It also fits better in the replica, only wobbling back and forth, but not side to side. The fire selector is not ambidextrous, but the magazine release is big, easy to access, so that's a plus from my side. The motor did get warm with the 120 spring after trying to shoot one magazine quite quickly, which is not that good, but I take that as the spring being too much. Comparing this to my Noveski N4 is like night and day where the Noveski was outperforming this replica completely in each category. It's like comparing tomatoes to bananas. This is a nice looking replica. It feels okay. But my first impression of it is just meh. I can't really understand the price tag for what you get. A cheap magazine, problem hopping 0.32 BBs. If you buy this, I get the feeling you have to replace several parts to make it feed and work the way you want it to. But this is just my first impression, I haven't actually used this in the field yet, I'm going to do that next time I'm playing and then I will make a review about that experience. But my first impression, like I said, is just meh. I kind of regret so far buying it because it has nothing more than nice looks to it. But that might be changing once I actually try it out in the field, then it might be working even better. 
I just hoped that I was able to use 0.32 BBs because that's what I want to use for all my replicas. But somehow even with upgrades to this one, it still has problem with heavier BBs. And I hope that doesn't mean I have to change the entire hop-up system just to make it work with that kind of BBs. Even with a terrible first impression, I'm still having my hopes up for it to work great once I actually get to play with it. Even if I can't use 0.32 BBs, I'm still going to use 0.28 and let's hope for the best. This is the pro of not having a sponsor because I can say whatever I want with the stuff I buy. But if you really want to help me out, feel free to take a look in my wishlist down in the comment section. And like, share, comment and subscribe to this video. And until next time, you wonderful people who endured this video, this is Airsoft Wolf, signing out.